Hello everyone welcome to back my channel I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Crisley Knows Best featured Todd Crisley and his mother, Nanny Faye. Todd Crisley can always count on his mother, Nanny Faye Crisley, for assistance, growing up in South Carolina. The matriarch of the Crisley family and a devoted admirer of the USA Network reality series Crisley Knows Best was taught how to feed the hogs, chickens, and cows as the sun rose. Todd, one of the three sons that Nanny Faye and her late husband, Jean Crisley, welcomed, went on to become a television personality. Todd's boisterous family, which included his wife, Julie Crisley, and his five children, Lindsay, Kyle, Chase, Savannah, and Grayson, was the focus of Crisley Knows Best, which aired from 2014 to 2023. Nevertheless, Todd's mother was the true star of the performance, as she is renowned for her ability to deliver witty one-liners and her enjoyment of gambling. The most significant challenge that Nanny Faye faced in 2022 was the conviction of her son and daughter-in-law for conspiracy, tax evasion, and fraud. Todd and Julie were initially sentenced to a total of 19 years in prison, however, this sentence has since been reduced. During an appearance on Lindsay's podcast, The Southern Tea, Nanny Faye expressed her heartbreak regarding the couple's imprisonment. Despite being in a dark place herself, Nanny Faye stated during another podcast appearance in June 2023 that she is striving to be a backbone for her grandchildren. I am the queen, and the sergeant is still barking orders. I am required to serve as the foundation. She clarified, I have been and I will continue to be. I ensure that each individual is fulfilling their responsibilities. I am confident that there will be a glimmer of hope at the end of the tunnel. Todd Crisley's mother, Nanny Faye Crisley, is the subject of this article. According to an obituary, Nanny Faye was married to Jean Crisley, an army soldier who participated in the Korean War until his passing in 2012. The couple married in the 1960s and subsequently relocated to Atlanta, where they reared their sons. Much like Nanny Faye, Jean maintained a close relationship with his grandchildren. Savannah characterized her grandfather as one of her best friends in a tribute she shared on Instagram, stating that he was consistently supportive. My papa Jean was my staunchest advocate and admirer. I am under the impression that he never missed a school event or horse exhibition during his childhood alongside a throwback photograph of her and Chase with Jean, she penned, we were inseparable. Savannah continued, I miss you, Papa, but I am grateful to God for the 15 years that he blessed me with with you, as they were the most wonderful years of my life. We are missing you. Todd, Randy, and Derek were the three sons that Nanny Faye and Jean welcomed together. While viewers have become acclimated to witnessing Nanny Faye and Todd's playful relationship on screen, Randy prefers to maintain his personal life out of the public eye. Randy was diagnosed with stage 4 cancer in October 2014. Todd has not provided any additional information regarding his brother's condition, however, it is likely that Randy is in good health. Randy occasionally shares updates regarding his family on Facebook, such as a birthday greeting to Nanny Faye in 2023. Happy birthday to the most exceptional mother anyone could ever hope for, he wrote in the caption of a photograph of her. I cherish you more than anything in the world. I trust that you will have a wonderful day. Todd has also commended their mother's parenting skills and work ethic on numerous occasions, both on the program and online. In a 2020 Instagram post, he expressed his gratitude to Nanny Faye for her unwavering support of him and Randy, as well as for instilling in him a sense of appreciation for the insignificant. Todd captioned an old photo of him and Randy as children during Christmas time, stating, God bless my mother, she worked 60 hours a week in A textile mill to ensure we had everything we needed. Mother, I cherish you. Derek, who passed away at the age of four months in 1971, has been briefly discussed by the Crisleys. Nanny Faye is a protective grandmother to her five grandchildren, Lindsay, Kyle, Chase, Savannah, and Grayson, as well as her great-granddaughter, Chloe. I cherish my grandchildren more than anything else in the world. She stated on Savannah's Unlocked podcast, When God gave me y'all, he just blessed me. Nanny Faye verified that Kyle and his relatives are in a much better place and converse at least once or twice a day, despite the fact that they have had a rocky relationship over the years. She also mentioned that Kyle occasionally dog sits and that they enjoy meeting at Waffle House till he arrives, and we prepare hamburgers on the grill. Him and his wife, Ashley. 
The door is always open, and the children come, Nanny Face stated on Lindsay's The Southern Tea. Savannah called her grandmother my forever girl in a 2022 birthday tribute to Nanny Faye and expressed gratitude for the endless hugs, laughs, kisses, and long talks. Savannah observed that her grandmother improves everything earlier that year. Todd disclosed his mother's diagnosis for the first time in June 2022. He disclosed that Nanny Faye had been receiving treatment on a weekly basis on his podcast, Chisley Confessions. Several months later, Savannah commended Nanny Faye for her champ behavior during chemotherapy, observing that her grandmother was not allowing cancer to prevent her from engaging in her favorite pastime, visiting her favorite casino. She would undergo chemotherapy, be rendered unconscious the following day, and subsequently be transported to the casino by automobile, Savannah stated. Nanny Faye disclosed in September 2023 that she was in remission after initially obtaining her diagnosis two years earlier on her granddaughter Lindsay's show, The Southern Teed, I am fortunate on a daily basis. Nanny stated, My grandchildren are kind to me, I cherish each and every one of them. Everyone is aware that I have had bladder cancer in terms of my health. I am grateful to be in remission. I have been traveling and performing my duties to the best of my ability. Nanny Faye and Todd may be two peas in a pod, but admirers have also observed a distinctive connection developed between Nanny Faye and Todd's wife, Julie. Over the years, the duo are arguably just as close, from bonding over family recipes to playing hilarious pranks on Todd. Their relationship only grew closer with Nanny Faye's cancer diagnosis, they are arguably just as close. She stated on Unlocked that she was never without her daughter-in-law during any of the treatments for her bladder cancer. Through it all, she's been with me. Nanny Faye proceeded, stating that Julie had consistently maintained a daily contact with her, even prior to her health scare. She would contact me on a daily basis, typically three to four telephone calls. She recalled that by 7 p.m., she had contacted me to inquire about my well-being and to ensure that I had a pleasant night. Nanny Faye's initial destination on vacation is consistently the casino, regardless of her location. I have traveled extensively, and whenever I visit a new location, I conduct a Google search to determine whether there are any casinos in the vicinity, she stated on Crisley Knows Best. Todd and his children have observed Nanny Faye wagering and visiting casinos on numerous occasions throughout the show's history. Nanny Faye has even attempted to instruct her grandchildren in a few techniques she jokingly stated, I love these children, in an Instagram photo of her, Savannah, and Chase. But I prefer them more when they engage in wagering activities with me. Chase visited Nanny Faye during an episode of the Unlocked podcast to recount his best memory, which involved the two of them experiencing a weekend-long winning trend at casinos in Indiana and Florida. She obtained approximately $3,000 from me. I was perplexed as to what I was doing. She replied, I require funds to participate. I stated, you have a substantial stack of chips in front of you. Chase recollected that she responded, well, it doesn't hurt. Following the cancellation of Crisley Knows Best in 2022, Savannah and Nanny Faye discussed the potential for a new reality series to be filmed. Nanny Faye declared that she is prepared to return to work and reunite with her viewers during her appearance on Unlocked. She informed her granddaughter, I cherish my fans, regardless of their location, whether they are near or far. Savannah then teased her grandmother for never declining a fan's request for autographs or photos. Nanny Faye responded by saying, they took the time to watch me, so I'm going to take for them. In August 2023, People made an exclusive announcement that Scout Productions would be collaborating with Nanny Faye and her grandchildren on a new, untitled reality program in the aftermath of Todd and Julie's imprisonment and legal complications. The program will focus on their subsequent existence. Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe our America People News YouTube channel for more update news.